Hi guys, welcome back to another episode of Journey Girl Gaming. I hope you guys are having an amazing day. So in today's video, we're going to do a little gameplay of Brookhaven. This is considered one of the most popular games on Roblox. And it's not uncommon at all that I usually see hundreds of thousands of people playing this game, literally. So last time I looked, right before I joined this server, there was like 300,000 people playing. And it's like, you know, 930 at night. So yeah, it's quite a bit in the ways of people playing this game. So... What this game is basically about is this is a place where you can kind of like do some role playing and stuff. There's quite a few shops and different stores and police stations and all that. You got apartments here and stuff. You can live in houses. It's kind of like a game. It's the like role playing of sorts. You can use role play um, and have fun doing that. Like you can do like different cars and stuff. You can even ride a bus if you wanted to. You could ride a sports car. And for me, I love sports cars. So I'm going to go ahead and just drive around and take a look around, even though it's raining. So this is um, quite a bit in the ways here. I love this uh, store right here, the old TV station. Let's go ahead and look around the square. And usually when you start the game, you will spawn right here. And um, you can choose like different um, names and stuff like that. You can role play as a kid if you want to. You know, all sorts of cool things in this game. So, the possibilities in this game are sort of endless, I feel like. I think first off, what we're going to do is go ahead and just build a house. So, you can click on one of these things here and select kind of the style house that you want. All these are free. Some of these, though, do cost, like, Robux or maybe, I think, like, you know, just maybe like a VIP thing. I'm not sure. I kind of like this style, you know, just kind of like a cozy little, you know, uh, camper thingy like that. I kind of like that, honestly, because I don't really need a big house, a big mansion, if you get what I mean. It's just a little bit too much. So we're going to wait for this to load up. All right. So this is loaded up now. And a cool thing I do like about this, too, is that you can lock the house. And I don't know why it's still raining. Okay, there we go. All right. So the cool thing about this is that you can actually lock the house and unlock it for your guests and stuff. You can turn on and off lights. A lot of things in this house are very interactive. You can open the fridge and get some food. Like, say, for example, I might want to get, like, a waffle and eat it. Um, nom, nom, I love waffles. You can wash your hands. You can work open the microwave and act like you're cooking something. And that works. The oven opens up. And you can you know, input a time in there. Dishwasher. Just all sorts of cool things that are really interactive in this game. Um, like I said, possibilities in this game are endless. There's a bathroom, you can do that. The only thing I don't like is that there's no privacy in the bathroom, obviously, but you got a computer, you can sit down and kick back if you want to, just relax. You got a little safe here if you want to just put something in there. Got a little bean cushion. And of course, here's our bed right here. You just want to like snooze for a bit. But yeah, you can do all sorts of things in this game. So this is gonna be my house for now. I'm gonna go ahead and Leave it unlocked. You know, this is like nothing, like a little biggie. And we're gonna go... And I'm not sure what happened to my car. I did have a car right here. And we're gonna go ahead and just spawn another car. Let's say, like, maybe... Um, this one. Nice, small, and compact. It kind of reminds me of those, uh, 4-2 cars. Smart 4-2 cars that I've seen around the U.S. and stuff like that. So let's just drive around a bit. So we're going to go over this way. Starbucks coffee. Oh my gosh. You guys know me. I'm a big fan of coffee. <laughs> so yeah, this looks exactly like what I would see at Starbucks. Oh, I got a pink drink. That's just so good. You got loaves too. Like those little lemon loaves. There's a breakfast sandwich. I'm going to go back here and see us back here. There ain't nothing really back here. But yeah, if there's enough people playing this server, you could easily, like, have a whole town running on to with this. So let's go look around a little bit more. And some more people over here playing. You see, you can actually roll poise a kid here, too. So yeah, you can roll poise a lot of different things here. I guess all this is snow, technically. 
because everything's like white and I can't really see the streets or anything. But I could be wrong. Whoa, I'm not sure exactly what happened there. there might actually be some graphics problems with this game. Because I think typically it's not like this, but I could be wrong. Alright, let's go over here to the town hall and just see what's going on. I think it's typical in a town hall, of course, you got like payments and stuff, driver's license, and I tell you, with my driver's license, I had to actually retake that twice. I remember that now. I was 19 when I got my driver's license. I, I was a late bloomer for that. Um, but the thing about that was is that my family wanted be, me to have a little bit more practice on the road first instead of just jumping straight on getting a, a license at 16. So I, I do think that was probably a good decision, honestly. But, you know, each everyone's different. Um, but for me, I got my license at 19. I actually had to retake the test twice. The first time, I failed because I didn't parallel park properly. Or actually, wait a minute, I think it was actually because I accidentally bumped the curve or something as I was trying to park against the curve. So I practiced for a couple more weeks and I came back and, and took and I, I scored a 91. So I ended up passing, thank God. But yeah, that was kind of an ordeal for me. I had to you know, retake it twice and stuff like that, but it was completely fine afterward. So we're going to go over here and see what this Brookhaven Airport is all about. And I actually wonder if you can fly in this game. I'm not exactly too sure. Because I actually haven't played this game all that much. I've only played it like a handful of times. You know, you kind of be like wondering why. Is like, even though because it's one of the most popular games on Roblox. It's just I never really felt a desire to play it all that much for some reason. So I don't know why. But here I am playing. Maybe I'll play more. I do like role playing in a, in a sense. I do like it um, a little bit, but I just, I don't know. I need to like it a little bit more, I think. So there's not really much going on for this here. I think it's just like, you know, pretending to fly in an airplane or whatever like that. And you can get off here. I'm gonna go up here. Let's go look around just a little bit more. I just want to give you guys a basis, though, of what this game is all about, because a lot of you guys have probably already played this since it's one of the most popular games on Roblox, but I, you know, of course, some of you may still have not have played it, and maybe you can check it out now. So let's go up here this way. There's some more houses and stuff up this way, and all that. But yeah, I, I like it that you can actually select your own houses and, and be unique with them and stuff. That's what I really like about it. And you got like a hospital, all kinds of shops and stuff, and stations and whatever. Just a lot of different cool things and a lot of different unique activities that you can do in this game. I actually did see a Verizon store over here. What would what, what be a mock of Verizon store? It's called Zorizon. <laughs> Let's go take a look at that real quick. Oh my gosh. I got a cell phone. Can you, and I, I remember the old Verizon commercial. Can you hear me now? Good. That was like back out in the 2000s. It didn't seem like it was that long ago. That just shows you how quickly time passes by for everything. And I got someone in the car with me and I don't know why. But I'm gonna stop here. Let's see. Oh, someone left the burner on on this thing here. I don't know how to turn it off either. There we go. Yeah, I thought off the burner on this thing. I don't know why they did that. So let's just turn this off. And this guy's just sitting here like getting all sorts of hot dogs and whatnot. You know what? I'm gonna grab me a Coca-Cola. <laughs> I don't normally drink carbonated sodas, but in this case, I really don't care. It's just a game. I'll go around to one more place, then I'll go ahead and cut the video off for the night. Let's go to the grocery store and see what's going on with that. I love shopping at grocery stores. Oh, we, I see some Doritos. Those Doritos are good. Got ice cream. Pizza! I'm num num. I mean pizza. Evan would have a ball with Hershey's. That is his favorite chocolate candy ever. And he loves Gatorade. 
I don't think that's Gatorade per se, but like, yeah. It looks a lot like it. Got water, milk, more Coca-Colas. You got some healthy fruits. But yeah, this is a really cool game. If you like role playing, I definitely recommend it. Because there's a lot of you know, possible things to do. I hope you guys enjoy this little role play and voiceover gameplay video today. If you guys have any more suggestions for videos for me to do, be sure to leave them in the comments below and I'll consider it. Also, don't forget to hit the red button below to subscribe, hit the bell to see notifications, and I will see you guys in the next video. Thanks for watching!